Lee, the district's new superintendent, is getting ready for her first year at the helm. Christina Wright officially took over the role in June, and ABC 17's Mitchell Kaminsky sat down with her to talk about school safety, staffing issues, and test scores headed into the school year. Christina Wright got her start as an English teacher in North Kansas City before serving as a principal of a private school in Jefferson City and then St. Elizabeth. She most recently served as a superintendent at Licking School District before taking her talents to Moberly. Well, I think Moberly is really organized in terms of our continuous school improvement planning and involving stakeholders in that process. So we have a vision for the next five years about where the district wants to go. The Moberly School District serves just over 2,000 students. Wright says the main focus this summer has been improving their safety to keep those students and staff out of harm's way. We've really had a focus of enhancing safety as a district. So we have installed window laminate on all the buildings in the district. We have added these HVAC filters for air quality. Uh, we installed several new security cameras across the district. Across the state, test scores have been a concern, especially in math. Wright is trying to ramp up the district's efforts to recover some of the learning loss that occurred over the pandemic. It takes all hands on deck to make that happen. Some of that looks like before and after school tutoring. Some of that looks like extending into the summertime for summer school. Um, and just the way that we teach inside of the classroom. Not only did the pandemic hurt learning, it also had a negative effect on staffing. You know, we have hired approximately 30 new teachers. We still have two openings in math, so the teacher shortage is affecting us, and it's real. So we are looking at our Grow Your Own program and how we retain folks in this community that, so they'll stay as professionals if they graduate high school or graduate college locally and they're willing to settle down in a beautiful community. So it, it is a factor, and it didn't used to be quite as heightened as it is now where we would be at August 13th looking to fill classroom teachers. If they cannot hire new teachers, the plan is to use virtual learning or restructure some of the current staff placement. Despite the staffing difficulties, Wright says parents should be excited about sending their kids to Moberly Public Schools. We are really pushing the refresh button and starting a whole new vision for this district and infusing joy wherever we can. Reporting in Moberly, Mitchell Kaminsky, ABC 17 News. Now, Wright says Moberly has a small town feel, but some larger community resources. And she's welcoming staff, welcoming staff that help draw her into the position. Remember, for a look at all of your return coverage, make sure to head over to abc17news.com and click on the Return to Learn banner at the top of the screen.